what is up you guys Shauna here it is late you guys I'm just up cleaning talking to myself doing laundry I like to work out a little bit in my living room once Ye Ye goes to bed because I normally let her have the living room and the TV do whatever she wants to do until it's time for her to go to bed and then after she goes to bed it's my time to do whatever I want to do or whatever still needs to be done around the house while she's sleeping and I can't sleep so that's why I'm up doing laundry but this is just a random video I don't really know how this video is gonna go but it's random because sometimes I have to do random I do have another vlog video for you guys. It's just, I haven't been in the mood to vlog. I've had a lot on my mind. I've been stressed out a little bit and probably taking some things a little bit more personal than I need to take things. So that's why I've been doing a lot of talking to myself because I don't normally have anybody talk to, especially like if Cheek Cheek's not around, which is if my mama, it's not around for me to talk to her. I'm pretty much on my own because them are the only two people that I really, really talk to anymore as far as adults go. And my cousin Charmiel. I talk to her all the time because of Yay Yay. But, um, you guys, I'm not a perfect person. I'm not. I don't claim to be perfect. I'm not always right. But I am somebody that if I did something wrong, I will try to make it right, at least if you tell me. Because if I don't know, I can't make it right. And I'm a good-hearted person, I feel. I will do anything for anybody. I will literally do anything for anybody but it just seems like you fight more against the people that are closest to you and I'm going to say it like that because I don't want to specify what people I'm talking about somebody told me one of my family members actually told me this some years back we were just having a casual conversation and I just couldn't understand why some things were said about me and I wasn't given an opportunity to give my rebuttal because I would have gladly and they explained to me that they're just jealous of you because of what you have and I don't like the word jealous at all. I don't even like saying a word out of my own mouth. I just hate that word because I don't understand what's the, what's the point of it. I'm happy for everybody when you accomplish something in life, if you get something that you worked hard to get, and it might have took you some time to get it, but you finally got it. And I'm proud because you got something that you worked hard for and something that you wanted. I am everybody's biggest cheerleader. You would think that when something is good going on in somebody's life, the way I holler for somebody, you would think it was me because I represent everybody in that way. I do. I'm just happy for people when they have great accomplishments because I know the struggle. I know what I've been through personally in my own dang on life. Growing up without things, having to do without things, struggling to make it, going through bad breakups, going through friendship breakups, and not always understanding why that type of stuff keeps happening to me because I I know that I'm a good person, but maybe I could be a better person. I don't know. 
But for the most part, anybody that knows me, they always say, you are such a good person. You are a nice person. You will do anything for anybody. But I find that hard to believe sometimes when I find myself in the situations that I tend to be in. I have people that are smiling in my face and act like they like me. Well, I know they, they really don't care for me. I'm not going to say that they hate me. But you really don't care for me and you really don't rock with me like that. And the first chance you get when I'm out of sight, you want to talk about me behind my back. But in the next breath, you want me to do something for you. And out of the goodness of my heart, I will. I work hard for everything that I have. And and if people knew the weight that I carry just to do for me, to take care of me. If I could just unload that on you for 10 seconds, you'd be glad to get it back. A couple years back, I almost lost my house because I had lost a good paying job that was six figures. I had lost that job. I had took a year off of work because financially I could do that. I had took a year off of work just to clear my mind. I said, I don't, you know, I don't want to work right now. I'm just going to chill. And I did. I was grateful that I was able to do that. As long as I wasn't taking care of nobody or doing anything for anybody, it was a comfortable one year off from working. But then when it was time for me to go back to work, it wasn't enough to pay my bills. It just wasn't, no matter what I did, it was never going to be enough. I had got in a program called Save the Dream. And they paid my mortgage for nine months for me. And they told me, as long as you stay in your house for five years, you don't have to pay nothing back. So if I either sold my house or say I lost my house, I would have had to pay them 20% back of what they paid in mortgage payments for me. And I just want to say that this April coming up, I hit my five years. I no longer have to worry about it if I lose my house or if I sell my house that I owe them 20%. I'll be done. Thank God. But I also thank God for the program. And one day I do believe that I'm going to be able to pay it forward and donate back into the same company that helped me save my house. I believe now with all my heart that God blessed me to keep my house because you know when when God gives you a blessing and he gives you a big blessing that blessing is for his honor and his glory and he's going to do something with that blessing it's for you but trust and believe me there's a reason why because I always said you know Lord you didn't have to let me stay here I could have foreclosed and that's basically what was going to happen. I was I was going to lose my house for sure. But I always knew that if I could help a family member out or somebody that needed a place to stay that I would. And here come yay yay. And I felt like God helped me keep my home because he knew that one day she was going to need me. I'm not going to lie. It's been a blessing and a curse. I 
I love my cousin. I love my family. As dysfunctional as we may be, I still do love them because they are family. Do I have to be around them? Absolutely not. Do I care to be around them? Most of them, no. Mm -mm. This is my comfort zone right here. My little itty bitty castle that I got, this is mine. I don't have to deal with nobody, and I don't. I'm a person that stays to myself. I don't bother anybody. But I will speak my truth. And I will tell my truth. Now, you can tell your truth how you want to tell it. But this is my version of the truth. And I ain't sugarcoating nothing. And sometimes, that gets under people's skin. When I say things, especially on my platform, it gets under people's skin. But it's like, how do you think you made me feel? So you want me to spare your feelings? When you didn't spare mine. You didn't care how I felt. You didn't care how you did me. But yet, no sooner than I start talking about situations. People are like, oh, you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said that on the internet. I didn't mention nobody's name. I just said what was on my mind. But you mad because you know I spoke the truth. And you didn't want nobody to know about it people questioning Yay's living arrangements. Now, it really don't matter what anybody says about what's going on in my house because I'm going to do me. I pay this mortgage payment and all these bills up in here, they mine. They belong to me. All of them got my name on it. Every last one of them. So nobody gets to dictate how anything is done in my house. However, since I've had my cousin, I've done nothing but try to give her the best stay with me that I can until she goes back to her mother. It's not about me anymore. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's my child, but she isn't. I'm doing what my cousin asked me to do. That's her precious baby back there. And you got to really trust somebody to leave your kid with somebody else and be comfortable doing it. And I feel honored that I was given this opportunity, but some people, they want to look at it in a different light. Always want to nitpick something, always want to talk about this, always want to talk about that. But these same people that want to talk, not near one of y'all stepped up to take her. Yay yeah, yeah, don't want for nothing. Okay? She don't want for nothing. And as long as she stay here, she not going to want for nothing. And when she go, she still not going to want for nothing. Because it is different when somebody comes and stay with you and you're for their best interest versus them just being your cousin and you see them here and there for the holidays. It is different when you take them and you care for them and you make sure that they okay. So I can't see her leaving up out of here. And that just be it. Like everything just goes back the way it is. It'll never be the same anymore. As long as God gives me breath and as long as I'm still able to do so, she's gonna always be taken care of. I'm gonna always help her mother with her. Cause we a pack now. And you would think that everybody would just be happy for this baby. That 
someone is looking out for her best interest, but somebody always want to find something to talk about. Don't matter what it is. And I think that's real sad. And I'm just, I'm so tired of the negativity or people speaking negatively about me when I have done absolutely nothing. I mind my own business. I don't bother anybody at all. I'm not a troublemaker and I do not like drama. Honestly, I really just wouldn't be bothered at all with anybody except for the people that's in my little small circle that I have. I don't care for people upsetting me or talking about me behind my back and then want to smile on my face. I can't stand fake and phony people. I really cannot. That is something that just irks my nerves. Fake and phony. I just can't deal with them at all. I'd rather you be 110 with me. If you don't like me, you just don't like me. It's okay, baby. I ain't mad and I ain't sad. But fake and phony, I just, I can't do it. And I'm just over it. And I think this has been churning in my mind for the last couple of days. I've been kind of like in this funk. Like, what is wrong with people? I'm a law-abiding citizen that go to work every day and I grind. I work. Y'all see me. Not always working, working, but y'all see me busy. When I'm uploading my videos and y'all see my videos, y'all see me busy all the time. Doing something for somebody. Taking care of my household. Taking care of the people around me. But I still wind up in other people's mouths. People love to talk about me. But my thing is, talk with receipts. If you're going to talk about me, talk with receipts. Because at least you got some valid points. But if you're just talking in the air, you're coming off like a jealous person. And that's a word that I really hate to use. But it just boils down to... It be the ones that's closest to you that can't stand for anything good to go on in anybody's life unless it's happening to them. Why can't everybody win? Why can't you be happy for everybody's success? This child, when she got here, she didn't even know her days of the week. She was struggling with math, struggling with reading. She didn't have the proper clothes going into the winter time. And I made sure she did. I made sure that she was going to learn how to read before she went back to school after Christmas break. That was my goal. Just like it's my goal to continue to teach her. Because I know what her struggles are because I've had her since September. I know what her struggles are. So I know what she needs help with. So I chose to invest again in this child. And try to do something that I thought would help her. Be fun for her. Learning wise. And. It's like somebody always want to try to knock me back down. And I'm just over it. I really am. I'm over it. I think it's going to be a lot of changes where y'all going to see less and less of certain holidays and my blog style will probably, will probably change because
I'm just over the dumb stuff. I am. I am over the dumb stuff. I'm over the fake phony people. And I was cleaning up my Facebook page because I said, you know what, let me let me start cleaning up some mess because I need to clean up some mess here and there. And I just need to just start cutting some things off. And this is why I always said I didn't really want to have anybody on my channel because this is my channel. If it's going to move, it's going to move because the people care about me. They want to come back and see me. Anybody else, you just passing through. But even I started getting selective even with that, putting people on because I don't want people that view my channel to start missing certain people that they don't see. So I started bringing it back to just almost just vlogging myself because I don't want somebody to make it seem like I got something off of their back. Because this has been my grind for a minute. But I'm here today pretty much just and just letting y'all know things some things just got to change. Some things just got to change and and I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure out how these things are going to change. And I'm going to stick to myself. And if any, any of my family members may run across this video and you may see this video, I'm going to say this now. If you feel like I've ever wronged you, I said something that I shouldn't have said. I rubbed you the wrong way. You can call me. We can talk about it. But it'll never get resolved if you're holding on to something and the other person doesn't know. I don't bother nobody. Y'all know that. Be real and honest with yourselves. You know that I do not bother anybody. I stay too busy to be a messy person. That I'm not. It's not my character. It's not my personality. You ain't even never seen me move that way. And you know you haven't. But like I said, if I did something wrong, I apologize. I really do. We ain't got to be cool, but if it's something that you need from me to make right with you, I can do that. But stop bashing me. Stop talking about me behind my back and then act like you want me to do something for you because those days are over. I'm not going to do it. I'm done being nice. Shauna, I am. If you paint me as the bad person, then let me show you that person because I'm done.